What's going on internet? It's your boy Eric Banholtz. Hope all's going well on the other side of the internet. Coming back at you guys with a long awaited vlog episode. Hope you guys are having a good day. So why don't you just come and chill with me. Alrighty guys, I uh, wanted to talk to you guys today about Something I talked about probably like, uh, geez, like two or three years ago. If you're a, a longtime fan of the work that I've done uh, on our Urban Beardsman channel, um, when I was visiting California, I was talking about this. Can you see it? It's Soylent. And uh, I did the whole Soylent deal when it first came out about a year ago. And uh, it, back then, or still today, you could buy like a, a bag of powder and then you mix the powder with the water, you put that in the fridge, and then you've got like, um, you know, a certain amount of servings ready for you uh, throughout the week. And then you drink it. And Soylent, by design, is supposed to be kind of like this flavorless, um, nutritional beverage that covers all the nutrition that you need um, and is affordable, it isn't really expensive. So what I found is uh, I'm really lazy, guys. Like I am super, 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 super lazy to the point that uh, simply pouring powder into a pitcher, stirring it, and then letting it refrigerate it was too much work for me. And I guess it's, it's more than that because you gotta clean out the pitcher, you gotta break it down, you gotta wash it all this stuff, and then you've got that pressure of drinking it before it expires. Um, so it has like a certain shelf life in, in the fridge. So it was just like too much hassle. But about a half a year ago, Soylent came out with this stuff. Now, I'm not paid to talk about this, it's just something I'm passionate about. So I, uh, I'm giving it a shot again. I'm giving it a try, because I like the pure convenience of it. Like all I have to do, I got a whole bunch of these in the fridge right now is I just got to let them cool down. Once they're cooled down, they'll, uh, they'll be ready to drink. So the downside with the liquid versions is that, um, it's more expensive. So this little bottle costs about like $3 and then the flavored ones cost like three fifty or four bucks or something like that. But when you compare it with, uh, what you're currently spending or what I'm currently spending going out to eat for lunch every day and ordering Uber Eats all the time It should be quite a bit of savings for me. So Soylent has as you've already seen the original but Recently and this is kind of why I did it. They've got flavored ones as well. So this is nectar uh, I haven't tasted it yet, but from uh, from what I read on the internet, it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. I'm not quite sure if I like it or not. And then uh, chocolate flavored. Now the chocolate one was is actually the only one I've uh, tasted so far. My, uh, my daughter was checking it out. My daughter's a notoriously picky eater. She doesn't want to try anything. She saw these, she liked it, she wanted to try it. And I poured some out for her. She tried it, she enjoyed it, and I tasted it too. And uh, it's actually a lot, um, I expected it to be a little thicker, like a little creamier, uh, but it's actually pretty uh, light uh, to the palate. Maybe, uh, am I supposed to sh shake it? It doesn't say to shake it. Ready to drink. And then they have this one. This is coffeeous. This is uh, coffee flavored Soylent. So I got, I got uh, a 12 pack of all four flavors and I just wanted to see which ones I like the best and then maybe I'll uh, get on the subscription plan again and uh, pick pick my favorite flavors and kind of see how I'm going to go through them. But the deal with them is they're 14 ounce containers and they really do it on calories. So this right here is 400 calories and the way they look at it is you need five of these a day which would be 2,000 calories uh, to meet your nutritional needs. But the downside is I'm six foot five, so I weigh 175 pounds, and it turns out that I'm gonna need about six of them a day if I were only to drink Soylent. So when you consider that, the price of them, 
Um, it's not as good a deal. I think I end up paying something like $6 a meal, uh, whereas maybe I would be spending like $8 or $9 a meal um, if I was a little more prudent, I think. So um, it's not as cheap, but the convenience is there. And the other thing I like about it is sometimes like I just, I want to work through lunch. I don't want to go out to eat. I don't want the hassle of eating. Sometimes I just, I personally, I just don't feel like eating. Like I just feel like my body needs it, but I don't want to go through the hassle of cooking or cleaning or waiting for it to pick it up or to leave the house to go drive to pick up like... It's like totally first world problems. It's like, oh, I got all this food in the cabinet, but I don't want it. It's just, I don't know. Maybe some of you people can relate with me out there or not. But I think what my goal is, is I'm going to try to uh, drink a couple of these for breakfast and then take a couple of them to the office for lunch and uh, maybe save a little bit of money uh, what I've been spending on lunch because uh, I've been blowing through a lot of uh, a lot of money downtown Austin, going out to some nice places to eat. So, uh, are any of you guys on the uh, Soylent diet out there, or do you guys have any particular diets? Um, again, if you know me, or if you watched a lot of my videos, you know, like I, I, for the most part, pretty much cut out red meat. I think I've had maybe like ten meals with red meat in it over the past two and a half years. So red meat is pretty much out of my diet. I, I like the idea of uh, a mostly vegetable based um, diet. So my thoughts are if I could get two meals a day that are purely vegetarian, that'd be good. And then I don't, I don't really know if I can hop on the vegan bandwagon yet. I think uh, uh, I do enjoy uh, cheese and I feel like for me uh, I'm, I'm not really experiencing like a lot of health issues I think uh, probably the the biggest hurdle I have right now is is not being as regimented for my exercising and I think if I exercise more I would be able to kick up my energy levels a little bit but I think my diet's probably like the best it's it's ever been in my life uh, in terms of like the quality of food that I'm eating. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I don't get all on those like no gluten or no sugar or no fats or no meats diets. I'm, I'm a big believer of variety and changing it up. So this is a guy who just wants to drink uh, one flavorless drink several times a day. So um, that's about it for me guys. Uh, hope all is going well on the other side of the internet. Keep me posted in the comments with uh, what's going on. Um, the beard brand side of things, uh, we've got a lot going on. So I'm excited for uh, the summer and uh, growing our team out and all that stuff. So uh, keep on watching. Cheers. Keep on growing.